I learned to type on a manual typewriter and I went trotting off to college with uh, Selectric um, which was, you know, a major upgrade in that um, it didn't cramp my fingers, but still um, I had to use, you know, a little bottle of white out to make corrections. Do you remember? Oh, yeah. Footnotes? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Three o'clock in the morning and oh, you're down there at the bottom of the page and you're, you're, you've whited it out. And, and I, the way I write, I, I could have done it with a typewriter, but it would have been an entirely different journey. I remember reading about Eudora Welty and how she would uh, take a manuscript and cut. <laughs> and yeah. paste. I did yeah. I've done that. <laughs> right. And so you, she would move it around. And so that's what you're able to do without all of that um, physical mm -hmm. labor. And so it's just, I, I love technology f for that. So, mm -hmm. Well, I, I used a manual typewriter. I, I wrote a lot of books longhand and then did translated you? them to the typewriter. And I never could do an electric typewriter because it would hum and say, dummy, you know. <laughs> and then all of, I would see a whole line of K's and L's. <laughs> and it just drove me crazy. So I went back. I, I think I Are you sure gave away the dummy? electric typewriter. And, and then uh, when my father died and left me not so much money that it would send anybody to college, but just enough to make me think, well, maybe I should buy a computer because I'll never have this little piece of money again to do, you know, with no, no with strings that? attached. This was 1983. And I, I got a huge IBM thing and just getting it into the car <laughs> and it back into the, well, we had a station wagon and up the stairs into my little office. Uh, and then I had, I didn't even know where the on-off switch was. I thought, if you pay this much money for something, they should come here and <laughs> install it for you and teach you how to start it. But of course, they didn't do anything. And uh, so I would just be sweating and trying to do something. And he would say, fatal error. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you love the verbiage? It's like something oh, out of like, oh, you God. know, a Kafka story. <laughs> fatal error. So uh, I, I'd go downstairs just whipped and the children would say, how's it coming? How's it coming? Because that was before any of them ever had I was going to say, they couldn't help no, you. No, no, no. Nobody could help me. And I said, I'm struggling in the den with the beast. <laughs> and I thought, that's the trouble. You know, I have got to realize that this is a dumb beast. I, I am, it's Captain Caliban, Patterson. and I am, what's his name? <laughs> I've lost my. <laughs> <laughs> what an analogy. <laughs> so I, I named it Caliban, and I said, you do what I tell you to do, and obey me. And, and it did? It, well, it helped. <laughs> <laughs> I always think I have that thing, and it's like I'm using a jet in. Prospero! In, in. Yeah! <laughs> good! Good! It only took me how many seconds? <laughs> I couldn't help you either. All I could think was Tempest. I couldn't, I couldn't get the other thing out. Um, hmm. it, it's, like it's, it, it's like having a jet engine, I use it like a mule, but I'm very yeah. comfortable using That's it. That's right, like it's a, a fancy typewriter. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, I mean, it, it, it does, I mean, I have a, a Mac now, and it does all these wonderful Mac. things that I will never have it do because right. I don't care. Right. And, uh, but do you start your, your rough draft on there now? I, well, after I had two operations on my right hand, the doctor suggested that might be a good Is that idea. Is signing all the time? No, it's from writing longhand, writing wow. books in longhand. And the, he said to me, well, what about autographing? And I said, no, no, it's, you don't understand. It's an ego thing. The autographing doesn't bother me at all. <laughs> <laughs>